Okay guys, we got the top 10 scary bunkers that exist around the world. Coming in at number one, we got the basement of Oyster Adam School. Oyster Adam School. Um, I don't know why I would ever want to go there, but okay. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy sent out a letter to American citizens warning them about the threat of nuclear war. His solution? Fallout shelters. We owe that kind of insurance to our families and to our country, his letter read. The time to start is now. In the coming months, I hope to let every citizen know what steps he can take without delay to protect his family in case of attack. I know you would not want to do less. Congress allocated $169 million to find locations in public and private buildings that would protect communities from nuclear attacks. One of these shelters was built under Oyster Adams School in Washington, D.C. after the Cold War. It remained untouched for decades. What the hell? This is what $169 million bought? Look at that. They have a. <laughs> Yo, they've duct taped, duct taped a sign there. Tunnel number two. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's $169 million worth of stuff right there, Kennedy. Nice try, though, buddy. Palmerston Forts. A series of island forts off the coast of Britain were built during Victorian times to offer resistance to a French invasion. Later, these forts were designed to serve as defense stations during World War I, thought to serve as a line of protection against submarine threats. Interesting. Following the war, many of the sites transformed into resorts, some still operating, and one a no man's land abandoned after disease emerged on the island. That's interesting, dude. Like literally, it was Victorian times, then it was like World War One, and now it's a resort. Imagine thinking like those people back in Victorian times being like making this thing and being like, then telling them later, yeah, like in 500 years or whenever it is, like people are gonna be staying here on vacation. Like that's crazy. The Swiss military bunkers. The Swiss military bunkers located in the Alps in Switzerland offer a textbook definition of camouflage. Even in a so-called neutral country, Switzerland was ready for plenty in the way of military attacks, created a vast network of secret bunkers located within rocks, barns, or hillsides. Most have been long abandoned. Yo, those Swiss, they're quiet, they're chilling, they're not on anyone's side right now, but they're, oh, oh yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that, that's ready to go, dude, like, like, do not come after, that's probably why they're staying out of it, everyone's like, dude, like, these Swiss guys, like, man, like, they're chill, but like, you attack them, like, they will mess you up with their bunkers and stuff, like, that looks elite right there, guys, I, I would not want to be dealing with that. Cape May Bunker. Built on the sands of the coast of Cape May in New Jersey, the Cape May Bunker served as a gun placement to protect America's east coast. It was constructed at the beginning of World War II when military leaders believed that war would come to American shores. The site is now part of a state park. Huh, you know, I never actually realized that people thought that war could come to American shores. Like, I guess if you were living in that time, that would have been a serious threat, you know, like you would have been worried about that if you were in America. You thought maybe this could happen, but I guess, you know, never did and this thing just became abandoned. Titan One Missile Complex. In rural eastern Washington, 155 feet below the ground, wow, you'd find three 1960s built silos that once housed nuclear-tipped Titan One rockets. Ooh. These concrete and steel facilities with 14-foot thick walls boast a mix of tunnels and oddly arranged underground rooms. Some were updated to host Titan II rockets, but all were eventually decommissioned as the military continued to modernize. These facilities were self-sufficient, including having their own water treatment facility food and fresh air supplies yo that's crazy they're like self-sufficient and they're 155 feet below the ground like that's nuts dudes I don't know like even if it was a comfortable space and stuff like I feel like I I'd feel just not right being that low you know I just feel like this isn't I, I have to see the Sun I just I have to you know I, yeah actually wow that would suck like just all artificial light all the time no thank you I need you mr. Sun devil's slide bunkers the devil's slide bunkers on the coast of San Mateo County in California were high-tech for the late 1930s yeah night late 1930s not so much right now guys the US War Department took nearly 10 acres along the coast to create triangulation stations and observation sites so military personnel could use binoculars to pinpoint the positions of ships in the sea. The Devil's Slide was one of those pre-radar sites and included concrete and steel observation pillboxes. The site was sold to a private owner in 1983. I hope that that private owner is not like regularly going in those or anything folks because that thing looks like just like one too many people and it's like boom going down. Yeah I would not want to be yeah, that's not that's not defendable. I don't think. I think we need to abandon that. We're getting attacked. We got to abandon this post because this is not elite. Greenbrier Bunker. The Greenbrier Bunker is a resort located outside of White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. 
and tucked 720 feet into the hillside below that resort is the Greenbrier Bunker. Woo! A secret location built to house Congress in the event of a nuclear war. Interesting, never even knew that. It was completed in 1961 and maintained by government employees working undercover as Forsyth Associates, a company hired by the resort for audiovisual services. The bunker had its own power plant and water purification unit, a 25 ton blast door, decontamination chambers, a clinic, a lab, a cafeteria, meeting rooms, and more. The facility was a secret until the Washington Post exposed it in 1992, forcing the government to decommission it. Washington Post, what are you doing? Now the site is open for tours, but the luxury resort that surrounds it remains in operation. Damn, so you already know that they have like one of these, but the one that we don't know about, you know? Cause like this one got exposed and they're like, God damn it, like we gotta, we gotta make another one. So you guaranteed there's just like another like better updated version of one of these somewhere in America that like we don't know about. Northern Ireland blast door. Cold war era bunkers like the threat of nuclear doomsday are forever. Fallout shelters from the 1940s to the 1990s remain embedded in the earth, many still stocked with essentials of living. Some sit in ruin, some have become tourist attractions, but all are trapped in time. Whoa. We're trapped in time, dudes. Hopefully we never actually need to be trapped inside one of those things, because if we do, that means that like nukes raining down. I'm not about it, guys. That door needs to be remained wide open. I don't need to be living in like Fallout 76 right now or any of that nonsense, okay? Like, leave that thing open. No nukes, please. North Dakota bunker. In this North Dakota bunker, the kitchen's been tidied, but not much else has changed since the former Oscar Zero missile alert facility was deactivated in 1997 after a run of over 20 years. It's also called the Ronald Reagan Minuteman missile site. Interesting, North Dakota bunker, the kitchen's been tidied. Wow, that's like an old one, dudes. I wonder if we can go in there and check it out, you know? Like, just like see around, like what would it have been like? I'm so happy that right now, well, I mean, knock on, knock on wood, that right now we're not like under serious threat of nuclear attacks, because back then they was like, it's gonna happen, you know, like in those 60s and the 70s, it's like, we are gonna explode, and thank God it never did, but like I'm happy that we're not under that right now. East German Bunker. The portrait of East German leader Erich Honecker looms over a Spartan office setup that probably dates back to the mid to late 1980s. The Robotron, <laughs> yo, that Robotron K8915 was a computer was produced in 1986. Yo, can you imagine making something called Robotron K? Like that's insane, dude. That was a thing that people did. I wanna buy a Robotron. You can, I just have like a, like a Asus right now. Like that's the Robotron, Asus, you know? Like they, they, very clearly there is, there is one above the other. Anyways, moving on. Closed after the fall of the Berlin Wall and reborn as the Bunker Museum, this shelter now offers guided and immersive tours. Okay, so we can go check out the Robotron. I wonder how the Robotron, I just, I'm so fascinated by the Robotron. I think I just love that. I just love that name, guys. Anyways, guys, those were some scary bunkers that exist around the world. Comment down below. Have you ever been to any of these bunkers? Do you know of any scary bunkers? There's a lot of scary bunkers in the world. I'm hoping that we don't ever have to use these goddamn scary bunkers because they are pretty freaking scary. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the like, smash the subscribe. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time. Yeah, that's fucking real. <laughs> Congress allocated $169 million to find locations in public and private buildings that would be. Congress. All right, I, I gotta see the pic. I gotta see the pic on that one, actually. What is the picture here? Oh, God. All right, all right. What do we got next? Oh, okay. This is like a. Uh, yo, this looks like something on like Tatooine or something right now. All right, cool. Served as a gun placement to protect Americans East Coast. Holy, this is, uh, this is from the future here, guys. It's like a, wow, interesting. It looks like something should be on Mars. But all were eventually decommissioned as the military continued to modernize through airmen continued to man remote silos containing minute. I think we can skip that. Um, whoa, this doesn't look stable. <laughs> all right, whoa. The Devil's Slide was one of those the Devil Slide was one of those pre-Raider sites. Um, holy crap, dude. This looks like where we make like freaking lab tube babies or something. Like, what is that? 
and maintained by government employees working undercover as Forsyth and... Oh, Okay, this is just a, <laughs> all right, that's just a door, Shiresh. That's just a door. <laughs> Good one. Uh, all right, so number eight. Okay, where, where are we at? Yeah. All right, so that we, what? Oh, this is 8B. Whatever. All right. Okay, the, this is a picture of someone in a, wow, that's an old computer, dudes. I can't even imagine using that thing, that would suck. Uh, number nine, East German Bunker. The portrait of East German leader Erich Honecker looms over a Spartan office. Oh wait, this has to be the one that I just looked at. <laughs> just like, this is a nondescript cupboard, like. Okay, um, well, let's read this one then. Uh, alright, so, um, oh, wow, because I was talking about the computer in the last one. You did this to yourself, Shresh. I don't know what to say, man.